Hello and welcome back to more than FK and today we're going to be starting a Minecraft series my first ever let's play on Minecraft and I won't cheat I have been playing Minecraft for quite a while as you can see all this text has been like kind of messing out and it's because I had to convert a 1.5 texture pack into a resource pack which is the only compatible with 1.6 because I did want to play in the 1.6 with a texture pack so let's get straight into this so let's do single player create a new world I hope that says that says survival I'm hoping and let's make this Let's call this our Let's Play. Just for now, before we come up with an awesome name. So the letters are completely spazzing out. But here we go. I promise you I'm not going to cheat. It's going to be an amazing series. It's going to be so good. Let's get straight into this. So, we spawn in a... In a nice... Ah, oh, perfect biome. So let's get straight into this. Start chopping down some wood. And let's build our first pickaxe. I, I think I know what I have to do. My aim in this is to kind of get every single item in the game, if you know what I mean. But why is it... Oh, I don't even know why I was doing that. But let's... I want to make an awesome base on the ground. I'm, I aim to build, like, an awesome house kind of cave system on the ground. I want to live in the caves, because that would be pretty damn cool. So I want to, like, light up a whole massive cave area, blow out huge chunks to make space and build huge, amazing things. And there we go, that's our first ever cave that we've spotted. <laughs> so that's pretty good. I'll just take some of this wood and let's get straight down there and start finding some coal, which is what we need. And my mouse keeps spazzing out and the text is still spazzing out. <laughs> so, so far we've got one log. <laughs> this, I can see how this text thing can ca can kind of be annoying. So you need, I think that says 10, but I don't know. So we've got ourselves a crafting table, which I accidentally just popped out of my inventory. Crafting table. Let's turn all these into logs, I think that's 41. Let's make about that many sticks, however many sticks that is. But hopefully by the next episode we'll actually be sorted. And we can actually, ooh, that says 2 attack damage, that's pretty damn cool. So let's just make ourselves the basics. So we got, we want an axe, we want a, actually I'll probably do that, I'll do that with the stone once I get it. So what I want to do is take this with me. And let's go down, straight down into that little mine that we found. And I hope this can be our entrance into our first ever cave. Don't really want to take too much fall damage, but I still did anyway. <laughs> and I believe I've got it on easy or hard. I hope I've got it on medium, or whatever it is, normal. But I'm not too sure. If it was, no, it's not that, is it? Is it achievement? Uh, I'm guessing it's on easy, because... I'm, I don't know. <laughs> For some reason, I've got this stupid mouse that when I like move, um, touch it, it kind of scrolls along the thing, and that's going to be really annoying. Because whenever you move your item, it like restarts the mining from scratch, which is really annoying. But let's build ourselves a. Let's build ourselves some stone. Everything. So we've got uh, enough stone for a furnace, which is what we need. And let's find some more coal, more stone, which is. A little bit more stone before we go down into the depths and I probably need to mine up another tree just to get some coal some coal from the logs and anyway <laughs> and we could probably see the new texture pack on that but I don't know if the texture pack will be working for that to be honest it'll probably go back to the default Minecraft look but who really cares because as long as the main stuff is in the new texture pack it's not too bad and this block is gonna break and I'm gonna fall okay there we go perfect and let's get ourselves out of this hole deep hole and let us what are we going to do? We uh, we need to make, obviously, a stone pickaxe. We can use that for smelting. We can use that for smelting. We want a stone axe, a stone, a stone pier. I never really used that dirt one, to be honest, but I, I don't know. Oh, damn, I shift clipped. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. But anyway, we've got, we've got plenty of those, hopefully. Let us take this away. And let's go back up and mine some logs to turn into some coal. Because I like this spawn area, actually. I'm right next to my perfect little cave into my house. And I probably... I don't know. Am I on peaceful? Because if I was on peaceful, my um, my hunger bar would have been, like, you know, bouncing up and down. But I don't really know. And I hope I do get a horse, actually. So that's one good thing of going underground. Because then I can find a... Um, Find a nice little dungeon, hopefully find a saddle, and I'll be all set to ride an awesome horse. And we need to find a, a nice little donkey, I hope. An awesome jumpy donkey, which will be pretty damn cool. So, and I also need some food, actually. Let's see. I see a couple of pigs over there. I could probably use my uh, stone sword, because I've got so many of them. But let's go kill this, smack this pig to death, 
and as you can see in the new 1.6 we don't have any more of those uh, weird I love those sand things where you know the sand would fall once you hit it but they've kind of taken those away which yeah I don't really know it's probably more realistic but I don't really know I'm not really too fussed about it and let's get some of this nice wood with the right pickaxe because I my to be honest I this is my favorite type of wood this wood here could, just because how light it is and things like that because all the other woods seem to be a bit dark and j these are just perfect for the floor because otherwise the floor just seems too dark and you have to put like thousands of torches down and it doesn't look too good and the most annoying thing is when the tree is too tall ah oh, perfect perfect height of tree and um, am I lost? am I lost? Uh -huh, no we're not okay let's go into this mine let's take some saplings for the journey down <laughs> I reckon I could probably live down there now actually Oh yeah, I am in I am in easy hopefully because my hunger is going down. So that's good. I've got a nice little apple to keep me going. If I find some gold I can make a good golden apple. And let's go down. So let's first thing we want to do is make some torches. So if I plonk down this why won't it let me scroll? Uh huh. Plonk down I think it's if you do um one at the top and I think it's one, two, three, four, four sticks, which is all I had. And then actually I'll put this in, hopefully it won't do you reckon it will make it? It should make it. That makes one coal. And as you can see, the coal looks different. That's just pretty cool. And then if I turn all those into coal, because that'll turn eight blocks into coal, which is pretty good. And then I'll just go quickly mine some more, or axe down some more trees, just for the meanwhile, until we go down there. And I reckon I can see, I want to see how long I can actually stand, stay down there and survive, because I'm a pretty big wuss when it comes to creepers and animals like that. And one thing I might do is, if I allow keeping on, because I know lots of other YouTubers do do that, because otherwise I will rage and I'll probably never come back to this game ever again in my life. I see some nice coal or iron ore down there. So what I'm going to probably do is turn keep saving on. So if I open a LAN, allow cheats on, I won't use a cheat, so I'm literally just going to use game rule, um, um, uh, um, I am taking a huge. That's mob looting. I don't really want mob loot. Mob. Blah, 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 I can't speak for my life. Game mode. I don't even know if I spelled game mode right there. Slash. Game rule. Um. What's it called? Keep inventory. I should look for a double E if there is one. Mob spawning. Keep inventory. There we go. Done. Let's see how our. We've got a nice, nice amount of seven coal, which should be perfect. We can have a, a nice amount of uh, torches going. So that will give us I need some more, just a few more sticks. <laughs> this is so annoying. This is ridiculously annoying. I have no, I have no idea the amount of sticks I'm doing. I'm probably never going to shift click again in my life after this. So that's, I'm guessing that's more than eight. Let's just take this. Let's go down in our mine. And to be honest, I'm a very big wuss with light, so I'll be placing thousands and thousands of torches down. And I don't know what block to use for... I'll probably just use a bit of dirt if I have any spare to help me go down, if I can get it in the right place. There we go, there we go. Let's Parkour, do you see that amazing parkour? There's already a creeper down there. So let's just shift off the end. Uh, let's just go for it, let's just die, you little creeper. Oh crap, there's another animal. Oh, not another animal. It's another little stupid, whatever this is called, zombie kind of thing. And I've placed down shit tons of torches because I am officially freaking scared. This, okay, there's a skeleton right there. I probably, okay, I knew he'd come. Well, that, did he, he ran so quick, unless I'm like completely lagging out. There we go. Got the critical hit on him. <laughs> so here we are. Let's, which cave could we go down? Because I kind of like being very far away from the surface but let's just grab all this iron once I've lit up the area and to be honest this is quite a big cave oh this is such a good cave it's so big so hopefully there'll be tons of iron I can make some awesome iron armor and I hopefully want to get an enchanting table soon because that'd be pretty good so let's just nickel this iron from the mine and that's quite a small vein three but I'm guessing we're quite close to the surface so I wouldn't expect huge veins until we're quite far down so so far we've already got six iron, which is pr seven iron, which is pretty good, and that's enough for pants, I believe. 